All right. Uh, good morning, everybody. Today good is Good morning, Ravi. Today is Dab Tzadi Zion. Uh, in Mesachas Pesachim, as we get toward the end of the ninth parak. So we left off at the bottom yesterday. Uh, um, we were talking about Tamura, right? Tamura is an animal that was exchanged for uh, another uh, um, for another animal. And in this case over here, we said that Tamura is really the main halacha wasn't really about the Tamura, but the halacha was about the karm, uh, by, about the Pesach if there was a replacement, and then that replaced by, uh, because he so he. He, he had an animal, right? He had an animal he was going to, to, to offer. He lost it. So he took a replacement and then he found the other one. And that one is a question of, is, uh, uh, is it offered or uh, do you not uh, offer the animal uh, as a shlamim? Or do you leave it out to graze and then use that money to go ahead and use those funds to go ahead and, uh, and, and, and you know, to donate to the mikdash for, the, for kabanas, right? So that was a question. And it depends on when you find the animal. Are you finding it before the animal was offered or what, was it after the animal offered? If it was before the animal offered, then it was rejected. If it's a rejected animal, then it can't be offered, right? But if it was found after the Karim Pesach was already brought, he found it two days later, then it could be brought as a shlamim. And the question is, was is was the time before it was brought or was it chatzos? And that was sort of the, the discussion there. So Iqa um, Damas and some have this conversation on the Reisha, five lines or six lines from the bottom, uh, first word in the line. So Iqa Damas Reisha, so current Pesach that was found, by the way, I'm moving very slow this morning, just putting it out there. All right. It was a long night. So Pesach that, um, that was found before Shechidus Pesach, if you have the current Pesach and you find it, and then you shech the other one. So since my replacement was here and it was rejected because I had two in front of me and I offered one, so the other one's rejected. If it's a rejected animal, I can't bring it as a shlamim. So that, that's such a case. And go ahead, uh, let it graze until it develops a moon. Then take that money and use those the, the sale, the proceeds from the sale, and use it for a tomorrow, so The same halach will be with its tomorrow. If you go ahead and you have that animal with you, and then you replace it with another animal, so too, the second animal also takes on the same kedushin. The Hamir Bo Kadam Shita. We're only talking about a case of where it was found before the Shita, the offering of the animal. And also he did the actual Tamura. He said, he did the flip-flop. He says, okay, this animal, animal C is going to, you know, take on the Kadusha of animal B. You know, I'm, I'm still offering or or animal A, because I'm gonna be offering animal B. So only when he does the Tamura also before the animal was shakhted. However, if he found the animal in the morning, and then he did the tamura after the shechita. In other words, he found animal A and animal, right? So animal B was going to be offered. So he found animal A in the morning, and then he offered animal B as this karma pasach, and then he did the tamura, right? In this case, then his tamura is offered as a shlamim, my time, or what's the reason? So kikava shechita. When the shechita established immediately the chazile, uh, shechita only is the time for something that is fit to be the karm pesach. However, immediately the chazile like kava, right? But something that is uh, that that is not fit, right, uh, to go ahead and um, to be offered, right? Then that uh, the shechita would not go ahead and be the the uh, uh, be the time for it, and therefore this this tamura would not have the same halacha. So, so could he offer it uh, as his? Uh, Korban Chagiga. Um, could he offer his Korban Chagiga? I mean, those that we say no, because the Maaser Pesach, the halach is just it's just a shlamim. Well, Korban Chagiga is it? Technically, it is one, right? But you have to. I, I don't. It's, it's uh, what's it called? It's it, but it's not. I guess there's different when you bring the uh, Chagiga. I'm trying to think of if there's anything else that's brought with it that would make it different than a shlamim, that a standard shlamim. He's, he's got two animals. I, I, yeah. I understand, right? But we're saying that it's brought as a uh, the Meister Pesach, Halachas Meister Pesach is brought as a Shlomim. I don't believe it can be brought as your Chagiga. That's a good question. Eisve Abaye. So Abaye is a question in this. So I, the bri- that we have a Bryce, so it says, in Kesev, if a lamb out tomorrow, in Kesev, the rabbis tomorrow, it's a Pesach, a Pesach, she crave a Shlomim. To tell you to teach you that tomorrow, a Pesach, right? After a Pesach is also offered as a Shlomim, not just a Moisar Pesach, but even the, the Tmura 
of a leftover Pesach is also offered as a shlamim. Turn the page, top of the page. Yachol af lifnei Pesach Right, you might think also before Pesach Tamalomar, who, right, who karavin tamarasa Pesach karev. This is only, right, so it says this is offered, but the Tamura is not offered, right? So we see that the uh, that the Tamura can't be offered, even um, that if it was found before the Shkita. So he says, hey, Chidami, what's the case? If he found it and then did the Tamura also before, and then you're teaching me that it's not offered. So Pshita, it's obvious that you can't go ahead and and, and um, that the, that's uh, it's Pshita, that's obvious that you can't offer the Tamura, right? So Lamali Kra, I need a Pasik. El Lab, Shanimsa Kaidam Shita, Bahami Ba Ah Shita. Rather not. Rather, we're talking about a case of where you find it before the Shita. And then you tomorrow after the Shita was done, you offer, then you do a Tamura. And we see over here that it says over there it's not brought as a shlamim, which argues with Rava. So you tiyufta di Rava, Tiyufta. So it's a Kasha on Rava. Fine. Next case. Omar Shmuel, six lines from the top on Sad design on top. So Omar Shmuel. So here comes today's question. Or is today's statement that we're going to comment on. So here's the line. Hold Shabbat is Mesa, the Pesach Karev Shlamim. So there's halacha by Echatos, there's certain five cases, right? Um, most agree on most of the cases in terms of a, when Echatos is left to die, right? Echatos is left to die. Um, you know, for instance, the, uh, you have, it was a female animal and it gave birth to an animal, right? So that animal, that, is, uh, that one has, has to die, right? Basically, you lock it up, you don't feed it, and the animal dies, right? You don't wait for a blemish, you don't sell it, nothing. It literally dies. Um, starvation, right? You lock it up and that's it. Or, right, you, let's say you you uh, had a replacement, you lost it, you got another one, you offered it and you find this, you find the original chathas. So in such a case, these are where it is brought. So the Pesach, when it comes to the current Pesach, the same, those five situations are according to some, those situations where a, we say the halach is the chathas dies, current Pesach is offered as a shlomer. Okay? The kol shem chathas roa, and anytime you have a halacha of where that did is that the chathas doesn't need to die, rather let it go ahead and graze, right? The Pesach, Nami Roa, also in the case of the Karan Pesach, also that is Roa. So when the chathas has to die, the Pesach is offered as a shlaman. When the chathas has to graze until it develops a moon, the Pesach goes ahead and graze until it develops a moon. That was Shmuel's two halachas. We'll soon see that in the end, he only says one halachas. But that's the two halachas he says, right? One in the case where it dies, brought as a shlaman by a Pesach. When it grazes by a chathas, also grazes by a Karan Pesach. Uh, when it graces by a chattis, it also graces by a pesach. But Rabbi Yechanan Omar, in a pesach karav shlavim, elo shenimza achar shchita. It says Rabbi Yechanan, no, the karav pesach is not offered as a shlavim, only in the case of where it was found after the shchita. But if it was found before the shchita, then you do not, it is not offered as a shlavim. So that was Rabbi Yechanan and Shmuel. Now let's see the Gemara. So the Gemara, uh, all right, so the Gemara says, Samaskal Rabbi Yechanan, I, the Klolo, who is this a rule in the case of Pesach, uh, kol, in the case of Kosher Bechatis Roa, Pesach Rami Roa, Barei Chatis of Rosh Nasa. Let's talk about a Chatis who was over a year old, right? So it has to be in his first year. All of a sudden it became too old. Barei Chatis of Rosh Nasa, Delri Azla, we say over there, it has to go ahead and graze. I'm Rabbi Shimon Lakish, Chatis of Rosh Nasa, a Chatis whose year has passed. Rai Nasa, Ki'ilu, he, Omenes Vesak Faras, the Roya. We, we basically, we put in the basic faros, right? It's an expression put in the basic faros. Why? Because who goes ahead and offers the animals? The kohanim. But the kohanim can't go ahead to the basic faros because it'll become tummy. So basically, you, you leave it out, you let it graze. And to, so that if the animal's too old, you let it graze. The ilu pesach, ki gafna. But in this case, the exact identical case in the current pesach becomes too old. So if you're saying it grazes, so then the current pesach shall also graze. I, I got a karav shlomim. It's offered as a shlomim. The tiny we learn in Bryce, uh, the Pesach says, or uh, Ketzim. It says that by a lamb. The rabbis is a Pesach Laliyah. We saw this earlier that you will go ahead and includes to go ahead by the Kor Pesach. You have to go ahead and offer its fatty tail in, uh, on the Mizbech. Choy mer in Ketzim. The rabbis is a Pesach Shavosh Naso. And when it says im Ketzim, the word im, right, comes to include also a Kor Pesach who's, who became too old. You can no longer offer because it has to be offered an animal in its first year. Ushlami Habai Mahmas Pesach or Shlami Kaz Pesach, the Kolmitz Shlaman for all the mitzvahs of the Shlam Shatun and Smicha and the Sakim Tnuf of Khaz Vashok. It requires all you know uh, the waving and the, the libations and then doing the smicha. Kshuaimer imaz. So I when the Pasik says imaz, so what does that do? So it says, he's a inyan, lima the ace, shain turn alia. So it says, no, to stop by the goat, that halach is not by you don't go ahead and have to take the, the tail of the goat because it doesn't have a fatty tail. You don't go ahead and take the tail and put it on the Mizbeach. So what do you see over here? We see that an animal which passed its first year is not 
left to graze, as Shmuel said, because that's what the halacha is by Yechatas, so it should be by Karim Pesach. This says over here that it's offered as a Shlomim, Kasha and Shmuel. So we're like, Ki kamar Shmuel be'avudim, b'duchu yilo yamar. Shmuel says, is halacha only talking about an animal that was lost, right? Only that was lost, but something that was d'chuya, uh, right? Something that was um, uh, basically pushed off, right? D'chuya, uh, he did not say that. So, v'avud, mi meshkachosay, but did Shmuel say it even by something that was lost? Hare yavuda, b'shasaf rosh, l'rabanon, delari ozla. But what about a case of a chatus, right? Where it was lost, right? During the, uh, by the time when he was, um, he, he had an animal and he, he set aside his chatus and he lost it. And then he found another animal. And then he finds the second animal. He has two animals in front of him. One of them he offers, right? He offers the, the, the second one, not the first one, right? That that animal is chayv to go ahead. The halach is that animal is the grace and develop a move. The Tanah we learn in the Mishnah, he chatus vi avdov, he frish acheres tachteha. The Kisu just said he separated a chatus, he lost it, and then he found the other one. Then he replaced it with another one, and then he found it. And he found the first one. Barish dem avdos, she avdos, and both of them are standing in front of him, right, to offer. So aches van tikarev vishneis tabus, right? Divi Rebbe says, Rebbe, one of them is offered, the other one, right, dies, right, according to Rebbe. The chamim, I mean, according to the chamim to the rabbanon, ein chatus mesa elo shenim zalacher shins karabal. The only time the chatus mesa if when did he find it? He found it after he already offered the korban, two days later. But if he found it before, and then he just goes with the replacement one, and the original one is now uh, standing there, it goes ahead and grazes. The ilu Pesach, when it comes to the korban Pesach, right? If the same thing would happen, he has two korban Pesachs, and then he found it, he has two of them in front of him, right? Right? Where it was lost, and it was found after Chatzos, before the Shechita, it would be offered as a shlomim. So it's not left to grace. So the well, answer is no, Shmuel Karebi Svirle, the Omar Avuda Lamesa Osla. So Shmuel holds like Rebbe, right? We just had this machlogis between Rebbe and the Rabbanon, and, the, and your, your whole kasha was from the Rabbanon. So Shmuel will say, okay, hold like Rebbe, who holds it dies, and he holds it dies, and in the same case, the Koran Pesach is brought as a shlomim. Therefore, this rule works perfectly. No kashas. Aye, but is that so? Baha kol Avuda Rebbe Mesa. So all the cases uh, uh, which is lost according to Rebbe dies the Ilu Pesach Heicha the Avid Kaidem Chatzos Venimza Kaidem Chatzos Roa but that's not the Lacha right if it's left to die that's not the Lacha by the case of Karim Pesach because we learned the case of Kar- uh, the case of Karim Pesach is it's left to grace you can't go ahead and offer it because it's considered to be rejected so my answer is Kaidem Chatzos Lav Avudu no before Chatzos is not considered to be lost and could the Rabbah my Rabbah Avedas Laila Lav Shmei Aved, right? In other words, if you if you can't see something at night, right? It doesn't mean it's lost. It's just you know see it. So over here also something which is lost, it doesn't necessarily mean rejected. It just means you know, you know, it's like a, on a golf ball, right? In golf, you find that some people have like written on there, right? Uh, I'm not I'm not lost, right? It's far in the woods, right? Far in the woods, and people you put a little stick, you know, they lose their balls there, and you, you pick up a ball, it says you know I'm not lost, I'm just misplaced or something, right? So that's what the animal is here, right? It's not lost. It's just wherever it is, it is. So therefore, it's not necessarily considered to be rejected. So if that's the case, so how do you have a case of ever an animal grazing? It's never considered to be lost. It's always in front of you. So how could you have that case? So at the top of the page, like Rabbi Yishia, if a person goes ahead and he designates two off the bat, right? He says, I know I'm a shlamazel. I'm going to set aside two animals. I usually lose one. At least I'll have a backup. He gets kapara with one of them. And the second one is left to graze after he offers the first one. Right? But in this case, by um, Pesach, if you do the same thing, you set aside two animals as, as a Karam Pesach, right? This animal is offered as a shlamim. But you there, remember the rule before was if if by the case of the chatas where the animal is left to graze, then the case of the Karim Pesach, the animal is also left to graze. So, but by, by over here, it's brought as a shlamim. So, Elo Shmuel, when we say the animal is left to graze, we're talking about a case where it is left to graze until it develops a moon, at which then it is poda and then, you bring. Then you sell the animal because it can no longer be offered because it has a moon, right? And then that money that you take from the sale of the animal, you you bring a, a carbonus with it, or that's given to the, the mikdash, right? That those funds are used for a carbon, but not that animal, 
But that's what I mean. It's left to grace, right? Left to grace, meaning grace, develop a move. Still, right. 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 When we say tamuz, then we're saying we're lo we lock it up lock with no die. food and die. Lock, lock it up and let it die, right? We don't redeem it with nothing. That's the only case by Echadus. Right. That's the only the case Correct. when Baal dies. No, no, there's, there's a couple cases. Machloik is actually all, all the cases. Right, there's up to five cases. Halacha Moshe Sinai. Right, one could be if it's a female gave birth. Another one could be if um, uh, he got if the owner if he lost it and he got kapar with another one. So those are the, the, those are the other uh, cases there. The owner dies. Right. So Ella Shmuel Kriby Shimon Sirle the Amr Chamesh Chatos Mesos. Right. So speaking of which, so he holds. No, this case is not left Luria. It's not left uh, to, uh, to Grace to develop a mum. Rather, he holds like uh, Rabbi Shimon that holds that all the, that the five cases are left to die. Chados Mesos that we were just referring to. I bought Royal Rabbi Shimon Leslie Klal. If that's the case, then according to Rabbi Shimon, there is no case where Chados is left to graze. If you all five cases of a situation of the what do we do with the Chados, the halacha is always uh, it dies or it's left to die. So then, where is this rule that Shmuel said that if it, the halach is, if a chatas has to, is left to graze, then so do the current pass is left to graze. It doesn't exist. So Shmuel not mecha the komar, kol shep a chatas mesa, bepeza karav shlomo. No, so Shmuel also, when, when I said in the beginning that Shmuel said to halachas, he didn't say to halachas, right? He only said one halach. He only said halach is, if the halach is by a chatas, it's, it's set to die, then the 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 the, the, the left, the same situation by a karav pesach is brought as a shlomo. All right, but he never said the second case of talking about the chattis which is left to grace because there's no such a situation. And if that's the case, why was Shmuel's Kiddush? Who followed up, who had the, uh, who argued there, who had the, who argued there, Dalmar, in a Pesach Kar Shlomim, Ella Shinimsa Achar Shkita, about Koydim Shkita, Lo, that the Pesach is only offered as a Shlomim, Ella, if it was only if it was found after the Shkita, but if it was found before the Shkita or not, Alma Shkita Kava, so we see over here that Shkita is Kava. And then Shmuel's halach is kavash and chatzos kava, right? The, the, the zman, it's not the shechita, rather it was the chatzos that it sets it. Fine. Lishna Achrina, some have a similar version to uh, uh, that which we just said, but uh, uh, primarily it's the same, the kut, the same point. Now, so the question was, v'ilu pesach heichid ovev v'nimza akar chatzos kodem shechita yakiv shlom. So, we said a case was left to graze. So, so to over here, the case of by the, the Karim Pesach, uh, where the Chath is left, the Halach is a Shuri Graze, so to the Karim Pesach should be left to, um, uh, left to graze. The Yilu Pesach, Heichid the Avad, Venim Zachar Chatzos, Kodem Shkita, Ukarev, Yikarev Shlomim, it offers a Shlomim, it's not left to graze. So, how could it be? So, our answer is Shmuel, Karabas Virile, he holds like Rabba, the Omar, Shkita Kava, who holds that, it, uh, so Shmuel must hold like Rabba. That holds that uh, no, nothing to do uh, with a chatzos, right? Rather, in the case of shchita, right? Even if it was a shchita, but it was after chatzos, that would be different. That maybe then the animal is uh, going ahead and would be left to uh, left to grace. I have a homie to come early. Rabbi Yechon, Allah, but that which Rabbi Yechon says, "Ain't a pesach kav shlamim elah shenim sa'ach a shchita." I've got him shchita low, but that's because Rabbi Yechon said him this that the current pesach is uh, is not offered as a shlamim. Uh, but only if it was found uh, uh, after the Shechita itself. It sounds like it was before the Shechita, even if it was after Chatzos, right? For the Shechita, then it's not offered, right? Because then it's considered to be rejected, right? Alma, Shechita, Kava. So Michal, the Shmuel, Savar, Chatzos, Kava. So it must be that Shmuel argues and doesn't say Chatzos at the time. Rather, uh, uh, it must be that right? he holds that Chatzos is Koveya and not the Shechita. So Elo Shmuel Karebi Svir Le Rebbe holds like Rebbe the Amar Avudo the Misa Azla. He holds that now that this case by the the, the comparable case by Chatos is not left to grace to Dov Mum. Rather that goes the Misa, and since that goes the Misa, the identical case by Karim Pesach would be to uh, to be offered as a Shlom. The Ha Kol Avudin the Rebbe Mason, but it says all the Avudin by Rebbe dies. Um. So he said, "I'll call the Rebbe Mason." So all the cases of a chatos, according to Rebbe, dies. Vilu pesach heichad the avid kodem chatzos. Venimsa veichad the avid kodem chatzos. Venimsa kodem chatzos. But case of the karim pesach, right? The identical case of where it was lost, right, before the noon, and then it was found also before the noon. Then it's roa. And but according to Rebbe, right, it should, it should be brought as a shlamim. According to Shmuel's rule, it should be brought as a shlamim. So my answer is not kseiver kodem chatzos lav avadu. 
right? No, he's told that um, before Chatzos is not considered, you know, if, he, if he lost it, right? And then it was replaced and he found another one, that's not considered to be lost. Because Chatzos come and he holds that Chatzos is Kabo. So if he finds it for Chatzos, it was never lost. So therefore, since it wasn't lost, therefore it doesn't would have the same Aloha, Kabo as Chatzos, and therefore you cannot go ahead and uh, compare the two cases. Fine, we'll stop here at the Mishnah. Everyone have a wonderful day. And remember uh, to uh, fulfill all the mitzvahs hayom and to make sure also that tonight is Friday night, just in case you're uh, uh, under.